Well, good morning. I was sitting out on my patio this morning and enjoying the rain, which finally uh, cooler temperatures have come to here in Louisiana. And uh, I just sat out there and enjoying the moment. And I was thinking of this passage of Scripture in John chapter 7, where Jesus had gone up from Galilee up to Jerusalem for the Feast of the Tabernacles. And he went into the temple and he was teaching. And, of course, the Pharisees and Jewish leaders were there, and they were questioning among themselves as to who Jesus is. And uh, suddenly, Jesus stands up in the midst of his teaching and hearing all this prattle going on around him, and he shouts out. And here's what he says. If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believes on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. <laughs> and this he spoke of the Holy Spirit, that those who believed on him would receive. You know, you can live in this world and die empty. You can gain all the pleasures of this world and all the things that you can gather around you, and it will not fill the void in your life. The void that's caused because you're separated from God because of sin. God is a loving God, and He loves us beyond measure. But sin separates us from a holy God, and Jesus is reminding us in this passage of Scripture that He's the answer to the emptiness and the void in your life. And I find that to be true in my own personal life in my relationship with Christ. He fills the emptiness in our heart because we were created by God for God. But sin separates us. But Jesus brings forgiveness and reconciliation with God. Through His death and resurrection, if you'll trust Him today as your Savior and Lord, out of your heart will flow rivers of living water and you'll be totally satisfied in your heart wow that's a message from the cross today <laughs>